Today, parachutists were jumping over Normandy again, just as soldiers did 75 years ago or D-Day. And a 97-year-old Coronado veteran was among them. News 8's Abby Alford brings us his reaction from the gym where he prepared for his big moment. Abby? We're at CrossFit Coronado, where people of all ages are training. We'll try 97-year-old World War II and D-Day veteran Tom Rice. He spent months here training, doing workouts such as rope lowers, all for his jump in Normandy. 75 years after landing in Normandy, 97-year-old World War II veteran from the 101st Airborne Division Screaming Eagles Tom Rice, who's also from Coronado, parachuted from a C-47 in France as part of the D-Day anniversary. Oh. Rice was one of 18,000 paratroopers who were dropped into gunfire to storm the beaches to stop the Germans. Chase them out, run them across fields, through cemeteries, jumping over tombstones, chase them all the way back to the German border as fast as we can. Rice has been training for the jump for six months at CrossFit Coronado. I've got a, uh, a replacement left knee and the right knee is a little sore, but uh, we're going to ignore, ignore that. His CrossFit trainer Clint Russell joined the D-Day veteran in France while back home coaches were cheering Rice on. That's pretty awesome. I, kind of, I wonder what he was feeling. I wonder. Rice says 38% of his comrades died during the invasion and they would have loved this. Great, great. Beautiful drive, beautiful jump, beautiful flight. Everything was perfect. CrossFit coach Joanna Evans says that they trained the 97-year-old on mobility. He looks younger in the plane. And he was more flexible. No, he was impressed that he was able to um, climb the stairs easier, pick up keys easier. As work grew, Rice was getting a lot of attention, not only for being 97 and doing CrossFit, but also jumping for the 75th anniversary of the D-Day invasion. It's very humble that people would want to tell his story. As the American flag flutters below his parachute, Rice says that he feels with fewer World War II veterans alive, he's representing a whole generation. Airborne. Airborne. Mr. Rice and his jump is also part of a documentary which will be going to production soon. Back to you.